Hey y'all, I'm Jen, and it's that time again. I'm gonna go ahead and do another TBR bingo for the month of July. Since I did five last month, and I, as of the, checking my wrist as if there's a watch, and as of this filming, I have not finished all the books on my TBR stack. It happens, it's been a crazy month, but I have been enjoying them, and I will share my favorites on my quarterly wrap up. So today instead of doing five, I'm just going to do four. I don't think I'm going to be able to read more than that, but we're going to try this again. Let's see how it goes. I've got my handy dandy ball thing. Is there like an actual word for this thing? If there is, let me know. I don't, I'm too tired to Google it. Okay. B3. Nope. 070. Yes. 070 is an adult book. And this is more category type, not like adult content, but you know what I mean. So for the adult title, I'm gonna do Good Morning, Good Night by Lin-Manuel Miranda. I have seen his posts on Twitter, and this is like a bind up of his posts on Twitter when he says Good Morning, Good Night, and it's all of these incredibly inspiring, and he said these are actually the pep talks he gives to himself in the morning and then when he goes to bed, and it's illustrated, and I just thought that that would be a great idea and a good self-care read for this month. Okay, next one. In 40. Ah, yes! We were doing a lot better this time. In 40 is multiple POVs. So that's interesting. I only have a few that have that. So let me see what I can find. Okay, so in my physical stack, I actually only have one that has two POVs, and that is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And it's been sitting on my shelf for a while because I heard it was a good mental health read. I honestly don't know much about this book, so. I guess I'll find out this month. Okay, we're going again. 074. B7. Yes! I think my ratio is getting much better as far as balls that were, ones that were up here, and ones that weren't. Number seven is an indie published book. So for my indie published pick, I'm going to choose High School Magical by Deirdre Reardon Hall. This is the September, October, and November collection. This has actually been sitting on my TBR for my Kindle for a long time and I don't know why I haven't even gotten around to it yet. So this will be the perfect time for that. Alright, last one. In 45. No. Oops. In 37. No. Crawl down there to get the ball and it wasn't even right. Oh, 64. No. See, I got cocky. I got cocky and that's what got me. B2. No. Apparently not B2. To to B. B9. No. I16. Yes. So this one is the newest book I have purchased or the newest book to my TBR. The newest book on my TBR is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. I actually got this in the Owl Crate January box and since then I've been kind of on a book buying ban until I whittle down my TBR shelf some more. So this is the most recent book that I have purchased. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's, I know it's a fantasy novel and I know it's uh, like a historical fantasy, but again, I don't know a whole lot else about this book, but I've been hearing mixed reviews. So I'm curious to see where I'm gonna fall on that line. All right, that's my four. I didn't quite get a bingo, but I kinda got an interesting little pathway down there. We're just gonna call it that. So the books on my TBR for July are High School Magical by Deirdre Reardon Hall, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, Good Morning, Good Night by Lynn manuel Miranda, and The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. I'm actually really looking forward to all these books. This is like a really good mix of different genres and types, and I'm just really looking forward to this month. So have you read any of these books that were on my TBR or what's on your TBR for July? I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Let's get talking. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and ding that bell so you can see future videos from me. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!